And so for this week's star of the show, we've got ourselves an HP netbook right here. If you guys read the column, uh, you probably know a lot about it already, but we're going to take you quickly through um, what exactly it is and uh, just a little example so you guys can actually see it firsthand. First off, if you guys know, uh, notice on the physical appearance, we've actually got, um, this has got a pretty good sized keyboard. It's still not um, quite the full size that you're going to find on a laptop, but you'll notice they brought it all the way out to the edges, and we've been typing on it for just a little bit, and it's really easy to get used to. So um, you'll notice the trackpad's a little bit goofy. Um, instead of making it, um, you know, just uh, really, really small, HP has decided to put the uh, both the buttons, the right click and the left click, on either side. So it's a little bit different, once again, something you're half going to get used to, but um, totally worth it. Um, you know, they gave you a bigger keyboard, um, you know, that's what you sacrificed. So, um, this one's got a 9 inch screen, there's a lot out there with about 10 inch screens, that's been a really popular one, but um, this one, as you can see, it's nice and small, really cool form factor. Um, you got a battery in the back. This one's an extended six cell, so if you get a four cell, it's not quite as uh, you know intrusive as this one. But so this one's running um, XP Professional. You can actually get there's some out there that run Vista Basic, but this is kind of bloated, so it's pretty hard. So most of them either run XP or uh, a lot of them run uh, Unix, Linux. So great for browsing the internet, um, something to take to class, take your notes on, uh, you know, keep up with, you've got RAM CT notes, it's really easy to use. You can even watch, you know, videos, YouTube videos, obviously you can't put a DVD in there, but um, just something great to have in your backpack or even a really large pocket, so. Uh, and the specs are really great. Um, 1.6 gigahertz processor, it's got a gig of memory, 120 uh, gigabyte hard drive, and you know, these are actually comparable to top of the line computers back from 2006. Apple, Dell, everyone had about these specs in their laptops, and they were huge. So it's really cool to see where we've come um, in just three years. So um, that's pretty much it, but if you guys haven't noticed, we're actually sitting in Ramtech on campus right now, um, and this is, you know, their display, display laptop. They can, uh, they can help you guys out. If you're really interested, come and check it out in person. In, um, and they can get you set up with, uh, this is the HP, but they can also help you get set up with uh, Dell or, or any of the other brands out there. So tech news this week, AT&T has decided to really start subsidizing laptops that they're selling in exchange for the customer to sign up for their broadband service. Now they're going to be selling these laptops for like as little as $50. But they're only testing it right, and they're testing out this model in Atlanta right now. And it's going to require, a, like, I think a two-year contract for $60 a month uh, to get at and broadband service along with that laptop. So, But probably totally worth it, depending on what laptops they'll have available. So in other news, for those of you who, um, you know, are chilling on a BlackBerry, as you probably know, me and Glenn both have iPhones and we love them, but the biggest part is probably going to be the App Store. And um, the BlackBerry, the Rim devices, um, actually have their App Store released today. It's called App World. Um, so if you're working on a uh, BlackBerry, you can go ahead and head over to uh, blackberry.com slash app world slash download and uh, it'll actually download directly to your phone make sure you have a data plan before you try that out but um, they've got free apps uh, paid apps you need to have a PayPal account um, for right now they're trying to work something out proprietary so you can just you know give just room your uh, credit card number not a PayPal but um, yeah it should be pretty cool and the website of the week this week is politifact.com uh, on politifact.com you can find the obometer which is cool it's like a it's a listing of every single one of President Obama's campaign promises, there's over 500 of them, and it's tracking through his entire presidency uh, which ones he is currently working on, which ones he's completed, which ones he hasn't completed, which ones he's compromised on, and so uh, that's pretty cool for all of you interested in seeing what Obama is up to. So um, <laughs> for this week's uh, app of the week, we're going to go with Sully's Flight. It's pretty cool. It's um. The flight that uh, left from LaGuardia Airport and crashed in the Hudson River, and you actually get to use your iPhone and uh, you get to navigate using this uh, um, flight simulator uh, gen, uh, engine, and um, you get to fly it through, and then one of your engines will go out, and you'll try and pilot it down and successfully land it in the Hudson River about where he landed. So um, it's actually even got uh, real audio clips from his uh, transmissions to the uh, you know the flight uh, tower and stuff like that. So it should be pretty cool. Check it out, 99 cents on the App Store, Sully's Flight. All right, cool. That's been the video for the week. Thanks for. Tuning in. Thanks to Ramtech. We'll see you next week.